it's raining today, uh, so we are on a very interesting adventure. We're actually right now looking for the Pokemon Center, which is nice because it's inside of a mall in Ikebukuro. This mall has really cute seating areas. Yeah. Oh, oh, I saw the Pokemon Center. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, that's a big store. Okay, so I probably spent a little bit more time than I should have in the Pokemon store. I think we spent, or I spent like two hours in there. Uh, John even went to go eat while I was in there because I was definitely taking my sweet time. But I did get a couple of things to give away either on Twitch or on YouTube, so stay tuned for that. Um, now we're gonna try to figure out how to get back to the train station because we're going to be going to Robo restaurant tonight and I'm super excited but I have no idea how to get there. <laughs> and now we're wandering back to the train station and I'm happy because it's not raining anymore. It was kind of drizzling on our way here which I mean it wasn't that bad. It wasn't actually raining. It was just kind of spitting um, but it was still interesting trying to keep the camera and its little microphone not from what? getting wet. Not from getting wet? Yeah, that's right, right? Yeah. Is that a sentence? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this station isn't even that bad. Comparatively to the Tokyo station, and it still feels so busy. We did, and now I need to figure out where the Robo restaurant is. Here's how they do roadblocks in Japan. Of course, it's Hello Kitty. We're such tourists. Holding a rainbow. Oh. It's so cute. No, the hamsters. So we're probably on the right street, but it's really. I know we just went in like a huge circle. And Like we're in and I'm trying to do this, we'll not get run over. <laughs> Don't I feel like I'm at the town fair. We made it, yay! I told you we wouldn't miss it. getting pizza before the Robo restaurant because we got here like two hours early because um, I wanted to make sure we could find it because it took us like um, like 45 minutes to find the Robo restaurant but yeah you definitely can't miss it walking by but I've been wanting pizza for like the past two weeks so we're finally getting some pizza and I'm really really excited <laughs> Right. 
bro bro restaurant. Wait, what's that? Oh my gosh. This is so crazy. I feel like I'm in a fun house. This does feel like a fun house. I wanted to show you how cool this toilet is. And uh, this is a really interesting place to pee. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Bye. We're bracing ourselves. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the front row. It's so close. Oh god.
ready to rave. I'm ready to direct airport traffic. We made it across the street and we didn't die, but it's raining. And we well, didn't it's, die from the Robo Cafe. It's spitting. Yeah, that was crazy. That was so much fun. I don't know where we're going. I think this way? Let's try this way. Top floor. Yay. And today, you could barely see Maple. I like how if it's different people, they're like tucking him in differently, or if it's like the same person, they're like changing it up and like putting him on top of the covers, putting him in the covers. I just think that's so cute. <laughs> All right, so I almost totally forgot to end the vlog. We've um, just been kind of winding down and watching some YouTube videos, and we were watching a Mad Libs from Joe Santagata, so we decided to play one, and I haven't ever played one <clears throat> since, like, elementary school. Um, so I figured it'd be fun. I just answered all the questions, and now John's going to read it to me. Okay. Okay. So, magic anyone? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Dogs of all ages enjoy watching smelly magicians. <laughs> Performing their wet tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Every man, woman, and banana loves seeing a magician pull a hamster out of a hat and saw a live capybara in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> or make a huge zoo disappear in silly air. <laughs> Audiences love when ma magicians perform a sight of calf <laughs> with a deck of beaches <laughs> and a crowded coin or silk toilet paper. The greatest of all magicians was the spiky Harry Houdini, who was able to escape from a locked wizard tower even though his ears <laughs> were tied behind his toes with his feet wrapped in iron glasses. <laughs> Okay, that was actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I think we're gonna like get ready for bed now. So, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. And hopefully, I will be able to vlog tomorrow. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.